inevitably, when, when, when the issue came up of Messi not staying at Barcelona, everybody said, oh, surely it's Manchester City, reunite with Pep, or it's Paris Saint-Germain, reunite with Neymar. Now, do we agree the only way this happens is if Mbappe goes or Neymar leaves? It, it, it's I, not I, tenable that Mbappe, Neymar, and Messi... They, they can't afford I all three of them. So. I don't think so. I mean, I, I, they said they're going to try and they said they're going to work out, try to work out if it's possible, find a way. Obviously, Messi would come on a free, but if he's if he's on the wages that he's in now, uh, Barcelona, which is what, almost fifty million a year, is I, I cannot see how it's possible. Uh, those are net, yeah, numbers by the way. Yeah. So for those keeping track at home, it would cost them if he if he's going to be on the same money, it would it's, cost them close to a hundred million a well, year. Also, yeah. because the French tax man is pretty nasty, right? It is, although you can find there's little loopholes there and there, but still, it, won't, it wouldn't save them that much money anyway on such a big contract. Unless so they shift Neymar or Mbappe. Mbappe. But, but, no one today can afford either of them, not even Real Madrid. I'm sorry, Real Madrid don't have the money today, I think, to buy Kylian Mbappe in the summer and pay him the, the wages that he will want to be paid after such a big move. I, I'm not sure Real Madrid have that money. Right. So we'd be talking Messi taking a pay cut. So it's either Messi takes a pay cut, but it has to like be... Like an enormous one. pay cut. Yeah, because the priority, and that's what PSG is still saying, is to extend Neymar and Mbappe's contract or finish in June 2022. You know, you know what I love? In these narratives, we create, oh, but look, Pochettino's there, so he's going to want to be there because he wants to be with Pochettino. And I'm thinking to myself, yeah, okay, so they're both from Argentina, right? No, Pochettino but, is linked with Rosario know, and everything. On. But what, we, but we think like... Messi's yeah. going to go there and start drinking mate, listen to cumbia with, 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 with Poch. Surely there's got to be more to no, it but Gab, that. come on. You know that if, if you're Messi and you say, okay, this is the, 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 the two options that we have, Man City and PSG. At least if PSG have a manager that speaks your language, who you know... Who what, you what know language does Pep speak? No, 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 no. But I mean, if he had been Tuchel, for example, you know, you could, you could have seen Messi saying, oh, Tuchel, what, you know, like, how do you communicate with him? This is not the same culture. It's not the same background at all. It's, at least if some, this is someone like, who is I, like Messi. I tell you this is for you about Messi's future. He spent 20 years at the same club. Nowhere in the world is going to find the same culture. He's going to have to adjust. Maybe yeah, Poch might help in some yeah, way. Sure. Like Pep, like Pep would help for sure. But, you know, deep inside, Messi wants to stay in Barcelona. I said it on the show last night, on the TV show. For me, I've got no doubt yeah. that if the conditions are there, he will stay. However, yeah. if there's a little chance that he could go, and that chance could be in Paris, having Poch there is a bigger asset than having Tuchel and his German technical staff with him. <laughs> I take your point. Um, last point, uh, Pochettino, what, what sort of length and size of contract are we talking about? Is that come Two and out? a half. Two and a half years, okay, which I think so is they're decent. not yeah, tying themselves into the long no, seven-year contract. I no, thought, you know, good. I thought, I thought you'd be happy that yes. it's not an Alan Pardew twelve-years <laughs> contract somewhere or David Moyes at United. Big Sam had the didn't Big Sam have like now. the ten-year rolling contract, oh, but incredible. then like you could give like one week's notice and whatever. whatever. But I'm excited, you know. He, the first game is Jan the sixth, then Jan the thirteenth. You've got the, the French Community Shield that could not be played in the summer against Marseille. So straight in, Poch will have the, the big derby and the rivalry and everything. And then Barcelona at the end of February, in the cha or mid-February in the Champions League, uh, last 16, yeah. first leg. I mean, like, it's, it's super exciting. I know, I know they ruined Thomas Tuchel's Christmas, which is, which is bad. It is pretty Grinch-like. It's Grinch-like. However, I think he got a lot of people excited in Paris. Yeah, and I also I can think, Thomas, I like you. I'm a Tuchelista, as you know. But you got, what, seven and a half million reasons to be happy? <laughs> Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.